this video, we're going to use Google Apps Script to create a custom menu item that will perform an action based on the code we write in the script editor. So what you see here is what we're actually going to build today. I have a custom made menu item here called My Task. And within that, I have one item that says Add Sheet with Headers. And what that will do once I click on it is add a new sheet and mimic the headers you see here on this current spreadsheet. So I'll go ahead and run this. And you can see it creates a brand new sheet and displays the same headers. So the first thing we want to do is go into the script edit window to write our code. So we'll go to tools and then script editor. The first thing will pop up here is try the new editor. I still prefer the old one, so I'm going to X out of this. And up in the top here, we're going to rename this project My Auto Task. And we'll call this function Automate. So now. I want to begin by declaring a variable. We'll just call this USI. It's short for user interface. And that is going to be equal to our spreadsheet application. And then we want to choose get UI to get user interface because this allows options where we can actually um, tell the script to add a list to our menu and that is part of the the user interface so that's why we're using this so from here what we want to do is choose the option to create a menu and it has one input we want to caption here so I'll just call this my task now from here we can reference the variable we just created and what we want to do is add an item to this menu so it has two inputs here you can see there's a caption and then the function name that will run when you click on this menu item so we'll call this should I say just create a caption that says add new sheet we'll just say add sheet with headers and the function name, we haven't actually made the function yet, but what we will put here is the function name once we create a function down below that actually adds a new sheet and adds those headers and formats those headers. So we'll get to that here on the back end, so just bear with me for now. We're going to leave that part as is for right now. So again, I'm going to refer to our user interface variable and the final thing I want to do here is add what we've just created to the user interface. So that just adds everything we've built thus far to the actual user interface. So now below this I want to add a second function that we will eventually reference that function name up here in our add item to the user interface argument. So We'll begin with the keyword function. We'll call this function add new sheet. And we'll list a variable. We'll call this variable new sheet. And what we want to do here is, again, reference our spreadsheet application. And we want to get the active spreadsheet and after that what we want to do is insert a new sheet so there's just a method called insert sheet and that will insert a new sheet so once we have this new sheet variable we want to create a second variable called range that's going to represent the range of headers we create to this new sheet. So that is going to be equal to our new sheet 
block variable and then we want to get the range and we want a1 notation because we want to get the range a1 through d1 and then finally we have one more variable called array and that is just going to be the values for our headers now in the script editor an array is nested within brackets so what I'm gonna do is take the active sheet copy these values here and just paste them within our array and now this is text so these do need to be enclosed in double quotes and separated by commas and now this inner set of brackets is our inner array which everything I have highlighted here is a row in an array and then the outer bracket holds different rows so in this scenario we have just one row of data in our array we have one row and each of our elements are separated by a comma so each comma represents a different column within that row so what we want to do then is again reference our range variable we created we want to set the values and our values are going to be equal to our array variable that we just created above also with this range we want to set the background color to green so it has one input which is the color this type of method requires that you put your text within single quotes and finally we want to set the font color of this range to white so now we have created our function add new sheet and we want to reference it in our automate function up here in this line of code here because we're telling it okay when we add this item we want this add new sheet function to be linked to it and this even though it's a function needs to be enclosed in double quotes that's what this argument requires so make sure you use double quotes on the function that you reference down here so this code as it stands now should run once we save and run this function automate and it will create a new menu item which we can then run and it should run this function down here the thing is though if we wanted this to happen and display this new menu item we would have to come to this script editor and run it every single time well we want it to run and be visible every time we open our spreadsheet so what we need to finally do is add another function called on open and it's a special kind of trigger function that will perform a function that you specify when the workbook is open we have on open and then curly brackets like you're used to seeing and make sure you get the casing just as it appears here because that's how it needs to be typed so we want to reference our automate function and really we need to get all of that right there so we'll save this we'll select the function we want to run on open we'll run this we'll get an authorization required prompt so we'll click review use the account we're in now go to advanced we're going to scroll down to the name of our 
project, which is my auto task, click on that and click allow. So now it will say this is running and you can see I get a new menu item here now called my task and it has our caption that we created for our new script to add a new sheet with headers. So once I click on this, it should add a new sheet and have headers like we see here. So I'm going to do that now. And there it is. So that is how you can add a new menu item using Google Apps Script with the user interface. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.